I'll be going over seven of the hottest SaaS products, and for each of them, we'll be taking a look at what the product does, who it was founded by, as well as the main problem point it's trying to solve. Let's dive right into our first one here. It's called Henry, and it's going to automate deal decks for commercial real estate brokers. It was founded by Sammy and Adam, and it's targeting the problem that traditional brokers often spend as much as 50% of their time on tasks that do not contribute to the bottom line. From basic financial analysis, to marketing presentations, to win future business, to other things such as basic operational support, brokers often struggle with the manual and time-consuming realities of their business. And these tasks are an incredible bottleneck for brokers, which interferes with their primary goal of building relationships to buy and sell property. So the product Henry is designed to solve that problem and it's an AI co-pilot that takes all the messy, unstructured data that defines these commercial real estate transactions and consolidates it into clean marketing deliverables, as well as financial analysis in minutes rather than weeks. And that's the first version of the product. As long term, they plan on automating the entire deal flow process for brokers to make their cycle time for a deal an order of magnitude faster. Next up, we have a product called Gauge and it's solving the monolith slash microservices dilemma. It's a B2B product and it was founded by Kayleen and Evan. And they're enabling teams to build a modular monolith and their first tool is called TAC. And it's gonna bring some of the power of microservices to your monolith application without all of the headaches. And so the problem they're addressing is that startups need to move fast. As they grow, code quality takes a backseat to velocity, inevitably leading to code spread and tightly coupled services. This creates an environment where even simple features and refactors become incredibly painful. And once a startup reaches this stage, they often reach for microservices. Unfortunately, this is like trying to fix a dirty kitchen by building a new house for the sink. With microservices, you introduce a whole new world of challenges such as orchestration, lifecycle management, and versioning dependencies. So the solution is to separate a monolith into decoupled modules with well-defined interfaces, and you're gonna get the benefit of microservices without the immense complexity that comes with it. So the first part of this is called TAC, where they're planning on building more tools to help you scale a modular monolith. Frontier was founded by Junior, and it's gonna simplify front-end creation by automating design systems. So it's a developer tool that's gonna bring your design and development together making it easy to create, manage, and document your front-end components as well as design systems. And this solves a problem that design systems are often complex and challenging to maintain as teams struggle with problems such as reusability, keeping alignment between design and development, as well as maintaining design consistency. So this tool is gonna to bridge the gap between design and development, and it's also gonna use AI-powered updates to help speed along the process. If you've made it this far in the video, I'm sure you wanna go and build your very own micro SaaS. And I have you covered with a complete academy that's going to show you how to build, scale, and profit from your very own micro software as a service product, even if you don't have any product ideas, funding, or SaaS experience. Or if you're just looking for some micro SaaS ideas, I also have you covered as well. You can get them for free. There's a link in the description below. Distro is the AI co-pilot for sales reps at industrial wholesale distributors. The active co-founder is Jason, and the problem this product solves is that distributors particularly those mid-sized and smaller, face a long list of point-of-sale challenges. The first one is brain drain. You also have one such as complex sales, we have to quote entire systems, along with inventory challenges and training and retention. And these issues are amplified by the increasing importance of counter and inside sales relative to the rest of the organization. So Distro is going to help counter and inside sales rep work more efficiently by transforming complex customer requests into real-time product information and quotes. So with Distro, the reps can quote faster, boost conversions rates, and increase customer retention. And they're gonna support distributors in sectors such as HVAC, plumbing, electrical, and more. Clarum is an AI-powered investment due diligence platform and it was founded by Anton and Tommy. So it's gonna help private equity firms close more deals by conducting quicker due diligence using AI. For example, firms can import files from their data room to get answers to hundreds of questions in just minutes. And this solves the problem that during deal flow, due diligence is a significant challenge for investors due to the need to quickly process large volumes of disorganized data within tight deadlines. And this takes a mental and emotional toll, especially when dealing with high stake transactions worth millions or mistakes can cost jobs. So Clarum helps to provide this solution by enabling fast, transparent, and reliable insights from your data repository for a more 
data-driven process. It allows you to get reliable and traceable answers, as well as having all your data in one place. This lets you find crucial insights and critical data. Resonance is an omni-channel marketing agent, and the current active founder is Jonathan. And it's going to allow you to effortlessly maximize your conversion rates and unlock millions in annual reoccurring revenue, intelligently delivering cross-channel communications that engage customers. And it's only going to take minutes with low or no code. And it has things such as intelligent targeting, so you can engage users effectively, requiring personalization that the exact campaigns that the user sees. It also gives you a true feedback loop, as well as a one-stop shop, so you can consolidate all your customer communications in one tool. Lastly, we have a product called Cloud Cruise. And it's an API to trigger workflows in the browser. And it was founded by Adrian, Felix, and Yer. So it lets you trigger user permission workflows in any SaaS software. And they're gonna do this by providing a simple and well-documented development environment as well as authentication and browser infrastructure. It's gonna let you automate repetitive work in the browser. And they built this product after realizing that knowledge workers are spending hours doing repetitive tasks, which can't be automated with current tools. They found HR teams filling out admin forms, operations processing orders, and sales manually prospecting. So Cloud Cruise makes it really easy to set up what they call workflows. And these are made up of a series of action, like inputting text, clicking elements, or extracting data from a page. So this concludes the video here. We looked at seven different really hot SaaS products. Let me know in the comments which one you liked out of these or if you have any suggestions for the video. And if you enjoy this type of content, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button below as that really helps the channel out. I have tons of videos just like this on my page. So make sure you check those out as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.